You know, this, this is not the boss in it. Yeah, it looks like the boss. Alright, so we'll do this one first. Build improvements attract more enemies. I don't actually like that idea. It would be nice if I knew exactly what that meant. For example, the more enemies spawn, the more enemies um, randomly wander into you. I, I'm assuming it's the first one because that'd be easier to write from a game design point of view or game mechanic point of view. This is just secure, build an electric fence. Alright, those are pretty simple. I've already actually built an electric fence before. So, let's get rolling. Kind of curious about the purifier skill. I mean, not purifier, I mean leader ability. Probably not as good as the populist, frankly. Plus five infrastructure for every pool member. I mean, that's that's pretty large. You saw how fast I move with just the one item that gives me plus six infrastructure. Imagine getting plus five for every person you find. But you're probably tired of seeing me play the populist. However, so if this is one of those. This, this, this generates more enemies. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mess around because I don't like defense missions. It just takes forever. How about you start with a missile silo? see any particular building that I'm work my way towards, except for maybe this one. I don't really think it means it's anything special though. But I, I guess I'll go to this half of the map. That's actually a pretty handy start. <laughs> this way I can fight off anything that um, is happening. Alright, I can, I can deal with this. This is a good run. Good opening. This will be the first time I think I'm gonna just leave the stronghold right there. That's my actually that probably is a stupid idea. I'll go and claim these later. Uh, let's start moving this way. Right now I can handle the zombies that come up. I think, especially with those um, usable items I get. Okay, this works. This works. It's only the second turn. I have one infrastructure now, and at the beginning of this turn I have 22 infrastructure.
It's just a one research point. Alright. Fifty nine zombies. So I'll probably lose this sector, which is a bummer. Because I just upgraded it and you know I might lose the improvement. I, I definitely lose the infrastructure I invested in attacking it. If I had that level 2 super rifle, these guys would be a piece of cake. Because it can kill them in one hit, regardless of a headshot or not. Now you, I can hit them in one hit, or I can kill them in one hit if I do a headshot, but you'll notice how dead the reticle is. I kind of aim with the head inside the reticle, but not the priority of it. So I only get 50 XP for that. So yeah, killing things with grenades and stuff do not award the main user XP. It should. I'd rather use up a little bit of my AP rather than my infrastructure. So even if I get driven off here, if I whittle down enough of them, I'll consider a victory. So when they attack the real thing, I'll be able to hold them off and keep my infrastructure. So I'm, I'm squandering my AP on things like Explore, whereas I'm always looking for more infrastructure.
tempted to sell his thing, but I'm getting plenty of infrastructure. And if if I get in a fight, I might <laughs> very unlikely, but I might need to draw upon him. So let's say I run into like say a hundred zombies. I might bring him along as cannon fodder, so I don't lose someone better. I don't have any money. I, have, I actually do have just enough to buy that. Let's see here. If I buy this, I will be able to use it for maybe about four rounds. If I buy this, I can't do anything for four rounds. 13, 20. I mean, it's okay. Let's go ahead and get this, guys. It's gonna be a long battle. So let's pawn off this extra armor piercing and buy the Raven. If I sell the other armor piercing, I could buy the Partisan. Let's do that. By the time I find armored enemies, I might have a better armor piercing thing anyways. There. Alright, so this sector is for the moment secure. This... Oh, thanks, guy. Uh, he wants crystals, I have no crystal. So, let's go ahead and reject the offer because I do not have enough. I have 23... I'm 23 short. You should be able to allow me to do other things for the like, you know, like, pay 20 credits per crystal that I don't have, or something like that. Alright, let's, um... You're closer to our level. But you are commando, which gives you a percent bonus per per rank. It's like your your sniper rifle will do more damage. Is that necessary? I don't know. Sniper rifle generally just kills in one hit. And you guys look exactly the same. Let's go and bring the commando out. I really want to just set myself to auto and then take a break for a bit, but I'll go ahead and manually control this one. Alright, you need what, like 21 kills? You know, I, I know I told you near, right? I'm gonna check. So you just like with, with all the pestles are zombies. Come on, I'm wounding all these guys for you. So that you can kill them and get an XP bonus.
are near, so you should be hitting things that are near you. Zombies are probably right there. This time I've got a buddy. I held them off last time and only killed four with cluster bombs, but I did use like four cluster bombs and three knockback effects. This time I've got a buddy, so buddy, your life probably does depend on this. Give a different definition of near. Good job, buddy. Let's huddle up to the corner and then work my way around. Ah, crap. I thought I clicked it. Thought I hit it, but I must have missed. So when I hit spacebar to cancel out, I lost the thing I actually wanted out of that. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I got a lot of good things this round anyways. But that would have been really handy for my sniper, so that she could always hit weak spots. I was really looking forward to getting that. I may be too for it. And this is a new mouse, if you remember. It's very, very sensitive in some areas, and when you're trying to make minor, tiny movements, it actually does nothing. So like, I'll, I'll move the mouse just a little bit, nothing will happen. So what I end up doing, if I want to move like to the left one tiny pixel, such as if I'm editing a film strip, I will move it a lot vertically up and down, but a tiny bit left and right. 
<laughs> because it doesn't register the tiny moving stuff in right. So, unfortunately, I guess I am going to blame it on the mouse. That one would have come in real handy. That, that was actually something that actually helped me. I probably would not sell that one if I if I it would get me an improvement. Whereas I sold the armor piercing to get me improvements or something. The max accuracy you can have is 200, or at least the max accuracy will display on a weapon is 200. Infrastructure pool. Come on, let's just keep going. You don't need to simulate all the zombies walking from over here or something. Whatever's going on. You probably start like right here. See, see, I'm, I was actually moving the mouse left and right at that point, but it wasn't actually registering. It was just showing me going straight up and down. Very odd. It might be the mouse pad. I don't know. I didn't experience those kind of issues with the previous mouse. Okay, now that's skipping around. I don't know if you can see this. This is not a frame thing. This is my mouse. It does that sometimes. I, uh, I tried replacing the battery, and I guess it generally works, uh, but I think it might be more of a turning on, off, and on. I don't know. I don't really normally do wireless mics, and it kind of is a bit disruptive to me. I know this isn't the same person. Let's put on a weak point so that you can hit these limper. Oh, wait, that's, that's a limper, not a... Not a crawler. I know it's not the same person, but I'm not going to need a lot of help for this one, and I, I want you to level up while you can. So I was hoping to go the whole round without killing anything. Each number is worth 2 XP. That's good.
need to be able to do 16 damage to chest shot these things. You're not going to kill these guys. I might as well just take the headshot myself. Or at least double tap them. You want to be careful about letting your barricade di damage too much when you're attacking and sharing XP with your allies. What I mean by that is, if I was defending and let my barricade get damaged, I can kind of secure there by taking the next layer of zones. But if I'm attacking, well, there could be something here that attacks right back, and I don't have much hit point. I don't have any hit points left to cover it. This should be pretty simple. We did this with, with both when I had the level 2 rifle and he had the level 1, or she. Now I've got a level 4 and he's got a level 2 rifle. And we say this as we miss like the first round of bullets. That's the problem with the weak spot for targeting. It took him three bullets to take down the zombie and took two chest shots. He did it again too, just, just a little bit ago. That being said, there's no guarantee he would have hit the chest twice either. Alright, it took him four bullets on that one, just there. seems that the max level for secondary skills, basically non-rifle skills, or non-weapon skills, is 3.
So yeah, I was researching basic communications and I get advanced trading post. If only I had an accuracy mod, then my have I might hit those headshots. I know, I know. It's, I had my chance. Do something besides pick the ones I'm looking at. No, that one's not totally in spot. I'm getting a lot of clones here. Let's see here, far armor and off. Don't know. This, these may be the only low level energy weapons I get for a while. Switch him out so I can get my tech card to Moomus. He gives me an additional 5 research just for being in my Ekla party. And of course, it doesn't matter if he gets if I have to put him back without being attacked. So if I get a 10% damage mod, gee, hit him in the chest already. I'll go up to about 17.6 damage. So that would that would enable me to kill these guys in one chest shot. I should try to pay attention to the store. Maybe I'll be able to do that. I don't really need to do as many chest shots as I need to because now that he has 
Now that he's like a weak spot as his as his target, he's unlikely to need extra damage I put onto that enemy. Unless, you know, he aims a little low. Back to back fighting. Now, as he's a commando, he may very well be able to do the one any body shot kills faster than me. As long as he gets you know, more levels than me, he would be able to, but I'm leveling faster than him. So, let's see who reaches it first. One shot kill capacity. I really missed that sniper rifle level 2. It was an incredible gun. And it would allow you to open up new strategies that didn't involve leveling up your gun skill uh, forever. Now it's not essential that you keep your gun skill up with the Joneses, but if you, if you falter on it, essentially your character would never be able to upgrade again. He went from like seven turns to five turns. I, except that, you know, if I get attacked like this, it's not gonna happen. Yes, yes, yes. Infrastructure improvements or improvements make enemies swarm me or something, whatever. It's like you wasted a level on Prodigy, or did you already have Prodigy? You wasted your level on Hardened Defense. You wasted your level on Scavenger. I'm leaving men because I'd rather have the five research. I don't need the bounty hunter for this, so whoever my ally is. Um, commando, I guess. Ah, 
seriously. That was a pretty large draw. I also found out the reason why Shadow Play is only doing these in 3.8 gigabytes. For some reason, they claim they claim that the, uh, Windows 7, I think this is what this computer is, can only record in stacks of 3.8. And it used to just stop right away, but now it kind of continues the recording. The problem with that is, for some reason, the audio skips out in the last 2 to 5 frames, and that's really noticeable when you're listening. Like, it'll just suddenly stop. Like that. Um, well, I say claims because when I do in fraps, those file sizes are like 150 gigabytes. It's insane. And, and I can record for like two, I can have like a two hour clip. That's 200 gigabytes or something, 400 gigabytes. The reason why I'm not using fraps right now is because I can get more footage if I use Shadowplay, because it does take up less room. I think I could have a compressed fraps version. I haven't totally tried it. Uh, Shadowplay has seemed pretty good, but I may have to go back to fraps if this is the case. Or try to risk the Windows 10 free upgrade. It's kind of... Uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not totally comfortable with the idea of just suddenly switching my operating system. I want to spend more time in the tactical screen and less time shooting things up. Once I get my third person, I'll probably just sort of kick back a little more. Of course. Of course it would. I also have enough crystals to get the next thing. As soon as I get Freelancer Guild, I'll probably have enough money to... I just want to upgrade a few more economy buildings first.
I have no idea what day I'm on or what turn I'm on or whatever. Yeah, if it's if it's about time for the burning guys to show up, I'll go and get the third guy instead. Oh, I'm gonna add 16 now. Okay. Jeez. Need about 3,000 more. Oh, yay! I did not switch. Of course, that would be the turn I didn't get attacked. Not only are turrets um, consumable, essentially, but you don't get experience for it. So you're going to end up hurting yourself twice. You're spending all that effort three times, in fact, if you count researching it. Four times if you count building workshops for it. You're hurting yourself four times. Turrets really need an improvement. It was too much to uh, hope for. Back down to 13. Well, round up to 14. It's good while it lasted. Uh, stupid right mouse button. The right mouse button seems to depress very, very easily just resting my hand on the mouse pad. I mean mouse.
Uh, while I'm trying to find the, the next game, I want to do a uh, a series on. Look at Fallout 3. I was thinking, or Fallout 4. I was thinking that since I'm arriving so late to the scene, that I would do mods on it, you know, a modded playthrough, because there's plenty of um, original vanilla playthroughs out there, I'm sure. I just want, as it's not an obscure name. Uh, so it was like 33% off on Steam. However, then I kind of thought, oh, look at that. I started reading about the reviews and such on it, and information about how people are responding to the game, and appar apparently, I guess, the they have the season pass thing, which is an issue in itself. But I guess it was like thirty dollars at first, and then it raised it to fifty dollars. And people were comparing the actual price of like the, the quality of things that have gone out. And unfortunately for them, I, well, hold on. Fortunately for them, one of the big things about makes some of those games that they make so popular is that they allow. Uh, there's a very strong modding, modding community for it. That's like why games like Quake and stuff are very well known to this day. It's because there's there, there are huge communities for it. It's, it's the communities that kept going even after companies, you know, sort of faded away. Well, they, they, so that's the fortune part. That's why it's such a big, I guess. That's why things like Fallout Three grew to the proportions it had. And in turn, I'm sure it influenced the sales of other games and, and built, helped build those communities as well. Uh, unfortunately for them, they're pricing their their content and competing with people who produce possibly better stuff for free. <laughs> Couldn't win. Couldn't pick the one that might not have anything. They probably all have zombies on them. Yeah, I kind of figured it was about time. Felt like about time. Funny thing is, I'm very soon about to get another party member slot. So, with that being said, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll roll with it.
need an influx of cash here. So I can get that third ally. Third ally. Alright, you can handle this without me. I'm gonna go get something to snack on or whatever. I mean, there's only, what, 35 zombies here? Don't die. And I just lost my chance to get the Basilisk. Very well. Next set, next set of sale things, I guess I'll have the money. There was a lot I needed to pay for. 
upgrades all around for this stuff. Um, the new hireling. But now I have money, it's no longer there. Trying to decide if I was going to switch over to Sniper Rifle right now with like a basic level 1. Yes, of course, you are going to attack me. Every turn you attack me. I would like to be- I would like to switch roles is the thing. I want to switch over to this character and the AI control my sniper character. Look, that way, that way it would liven things up. It would liven up these continuous battles if I could switch characters. Or even switch weapons. These kind of shooter games, well, you normally have something that you can do besides click on the enemy. And no, I'm not talking about like hovering your mouse over to pick up coins or something that like fall from the enemy's pockets. Don't like that feature either. Five more territories. So here's one. We need five more. Getting the advanced workshop probably won't help me at this point. Now that I've finally pushed that threshold of being poor. Because I can probably make this in about, say, I don't know, let's say six turns. So let's just get that in. I'm guessing basic trading post done. I mean, you have to admit, it is a little silly how much time I spend doing this. <laughs> Playing this kind of makes me want to try uh, going back to uh, play Last Stand to. Technically, two is one where you hide behind a barricade and shoot stuff. Three is where you wander around and complete basically a story mode. This is not to be confused with the online game, which is a very heavy microtransactions based game.
if you don't want. So, what, for example, uh, you could pay. Uh, let's. Uh, I don't. I, okay. These money values are going to be um, incorrect. But let's say you pay five dollars and you get three keys or something. These keys will then be used. I'm not I'm focusing on talking at this point. I'm trying. These keys will then be used to unlock treasure chests that you find when you go out exploring. If you don't ever buy keys, then you can't actually do anything with these treasure chests. Uh, fuel is another... It, it, you can get fuel for free in small quantities. I think there are capped on the amount of fuel you can get per day for free, like 20 or something. So you would buy fuel. Again, I'm spending more time talking when I'm thinking about aiming my gun here. You would use fuel if you wanted to trade. So let's say I wanted to trade one chest for one of your chests. We would both have to pay a, a fuel price for each chest or something. As well as for the trade by itself. So there's one for opening up the- there's one for finalizing the trade and there's one for each item or something like that, if I remember right. Um, so anyways, you would have these chests you couldn't really do anything with, so you pretty much just had to recycle them. And if you did decide to buy keys, you would- Generally, not get anything good out of those chests. Um, I don't know. Now, your experience might be different. You may say, like, oh, yeah, I got awesome stuff out of it. But practically speaking, if you had 10 chests and you opened 10 of them, maybe, let's say, three of them would be hats. Two of them might be a gun you can use, and the other five is junk. And that's assuming that, you know, the hats aren't junk by themselves. So a person who buys one key and gets one super item out of a chest, you have fantastic luck, you know. That is not the uh, statistical or average expectation for a person buying a key. I would not say bank on, you know, I would not say pay a dollar or pay five dollars, get a key, and then, you know, rock the world. Now, the reason I'm doing this is so I can take their gun and sell it. Get a little bit extra cash. I don't know what I expect to find when I open this thing. I guess I expect to find my sniper rifles. Like, even though I made this big deal about leveling up your gun skills so you can get the guns you're looking for, you have to remember that you also have to find sniper rifles in the shop. And, of course, have the money for it. So until I do, uh, I'm gonna basically have a character that has an assault rifle that's just hurting things, not getting XP for it. Guy who has level 2 is killing everything because I've slid him with a weak spot, and I can always disable that. But even if I didn't, he would just, you know, probably kill the person. He'd probably kill the person, the zombie outright, after the assault rifle wings it. Because if I shoot a zombie, and I'm not a commando, if I shoot a zombie with a single bullet, and then the assault rifle shoots a zombie with a single bullet, that's enough damage to make the zombie die. So if the assault rifle shoots a zombie for four damage or whatever, and he shoots a zombie for whatever damage he does, it's definitely gonna kill that zombie. He's definitely gonna kill Steel. Either way. I like that they went for different targets, that was good. I was waiting to see what they would go for before I made my move to line up a shot. Now I'm doing 14 at the moment. If I can go up maybe another 0.1 or something, or 0.5, I don't know. If I can go up 0.5, I might consider doing wet men maintenance for one of my AP moves. I'm assuming, not necessarily sure, I'm assuming that if I had 14.5, I got 10% bonus, that would be, no way, no, that's too much around me, never mind.
can afford rifles now. How about you guys come on out? 19 turns, if I wanted to do that. Might as well just keep going for the mercenary. I think it was this one I get hit, so it's one of these two sectors that might be open. So let's, uh, I guess, scout this one. Try this one. Nope. Maybe I was completely wrong. Because a zombie, a burning zombie hit me, dropping down, I think, to 47, because they do 3 damage. I assume I had full strength. At the end of the turn, um, when my turn begins again, I assume I get plus 1, so I would go up to 48. So I thought that was the sector that would get attacked. And maybe it was. You know, that doesn't mean it couldn't have been. Like right now, he has not even fired his gun. That's that's how that's how outclassed he is by these sniper rifles. It does not mean nerf sniper rifles. What it means is make other guns viable. Like if I were to bring an assault rifle to play, and I gave everybody assault rifles, I would lose. But if I gave everybody sniper rifles, I would win. If I gave everybody pistols, I would lose. While sniper rifles are indeed stronger than, say, small guns, and uh, yeah, that doesn't mean the answer is to make sniper rifles weaker, because the other guns are not practical in terms of victory. That's how you can tell the difference. If all guns were, a, you know, something that were practical in terms of victory, I'm not saying you can't win using small guns. Like I want to match using shotguns, you know, but that's not a practical gun. But. If it's not a practical weapon in terms of victory, then that definitely needs an improvement. That way you can decide, oh, you know what, I feel like going shotguns today or something. I think if levels came faster, it would also feel more entertaining. Oh, hold on a minute. In the very, very unlikely circumstance I get to use it. Mm, that was probably it. Alright, two more. Um, two more sectors. And I've got this in the bag. I was debating whether or not I really think I could pull it off uh, being auto. That would just that change alone would go a long way to uh, of fixing this this phase of the game. Of course. I don't think I would be so annoyed with the merchant if these rounds didn't take forever to play. I don't, know. I don't know if this is... This is what's probably not the right decision for me to do a publication on, because I don't have enough commentary to make... to, to make the, the downtime um, interesting to, to... to make the downtime engaging. Um, so I may want to avoid open-ended things in the future, like Civilization. Great game. Uh, no. It gets its flaws, obviously, but it, it, for the most part, it's a good game. It's enjoyable. I don't know if you'd want to watch me playing it. So it's not its not a knock against Emerge in any way when I say this is not maybe the right thing for me to be doing a, a publication on. But I said I was going to win this. I, I, no, I've got I've to back up that arrogance. See, I've got, I've got to show you that, yes, I'm going to win this. But this is going to be a piece of cake. So I will probably continue to have intervals where you don't see all the maps. You're not going to watch me do every map. Because realistically, 
if you were just to join in, let's say I was streaming or something, you joined in, and I had like an emerge session every day, one map would be a lot like another map. points on my sniper. I took a lot of damage for the Sophie Zombies. Can't remember which one was when I Ended up. Yeah, I'll go get rid of Peggy. Can't remember which one was when I ended up giving kills to. Not that it matters too much. Alright, guys, good luck out there. I've equipped you. We're all ready to go. I'm sure you guys can take care of yourselves. That's all I had to do. Peace out!